Welcome home. Thank you. How's that case coming? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a lot of work, but I've got to prove that Greenlee's innocent, not many other options. Well, I just hope that Greenlee knows exactly how lucky she is to have you. Just as lucky as I am to have you. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Oh. What is it? <laughs> Just a week ago, we were a continent away with our only decisions being when we rolled out of bed in the morning, what we ate, mm -hmm. what we saw, and when we rolled back into bed. I know, I remember. Now we're right in the thick of it again. Hey, Jack. Mm -hmm. You're a great lawyer. Just trust that. Everything else is going to work itself out. God, I love you. Thank you for saying that. You look like you could use a break. Yeah, well... <laughs> Where are you taking me? <laughs> You'll see. Mm -hmm. What if I keep my eyes? <laughs> you can do that if you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looking for this? Oh. Hey, um, I'm sorry to stop by so late. Are you, are you busy? No, no, no. Come on in. I was just over at JR's. The place was a wreck. What do you mean? Look. Well. That is a wreck. Yeah. Jared claimed it was from Annie's party, but I mean, what kind of a cocktail party trashes a house like that? I thought I heard people fighting upstairs, too. What did Junior say? Nothing. He wouldn't even let me go up there. I hate to have to think like this, but... I mean, we could use this as evidence against him in the custody fight. No, 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 this is good. I want you to have this printed up for me. Okay? Thanks, Alberta. The room looks great. Thank you. Well, all right. Let's get it over with. Threaten me, hit me, whatever. But for the record, what happened here tonight, that was inevitable. You arrogant bastard. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. <laughs> well, at least I'm honest. Is that a joke? To Annie and I, it was always meant to be. Whether we wanted it to be or not. Denial sure as hell didn't kill it, and neither did your marriage. You're as delusional as I was, JR. You and Annie are not some monumental love story. She is just a trophy for you to get your hands on. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, that's right. You couldn't take Chandler Enterprises from me, so you tried to take my wife instead. Oh, not trying, Scotty boy. I hope you enjoyed it, because that's the last win you're ever going to get. When is it going to sink in with you? It's not about winning, it's about belonging. And one of us belongs at the head of this family and the other one doesn't. Do you care to guess which one you are? I don't want to be here. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? In the middle of the street. Jenny, I almost ran you over trying to get to your party. There was no party. What? Why? JR, he ruined everything. Okay, listen, just calm down. What happened? I, I, I really don't want to talk about this. I don't think it might help. Nothing is going to help. Nothing is going to help because my life is over. 
Okay, why don't you just tell me what happened? I... What'd you do? It was awful. I... I hurt Scott and I can't take it back. And he kicked me out. Why, why would you do that? Listen, whatever it is, whatever it is that you did, you can try and fix it. I slept with JR. I slept with JR and Scott walked in. Yeah. My husband doesn't want to have anything to do with me, and quite honestly, I don't blame them. Well, Wow, okay, well, honestly, obviously what you did is not great, I'll give you that, but... I mean, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means my marriage is probably over, and Emma and I are gonna end up on the street again. I mean, what does it mean that you slept with J.R.? Do you love him? Well... Did we succeed in clearing your head? I don't know. I'll let you know when it stops spinning. <laughs> so nice to be back home. With you. Very, very nice. It is. It's great to be home with you. Oh, I just wish we could stay in here. Just the two of us. But reality is calling and... Uh, Oh, Jack, I am going to miss our trip. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, come on, the world was our playground. <laughs> oh, do you remember that bistro in Nice? Of course I do. <laughs> I mean, how often do I get serenaded like that? <laughs> you do know that he was singing to me. Really? I have a great idea. When all this trial and all this other business is done, what do you say we take another honeymoon? Only this time we'll have a novel approach. We'll do it after our wedding. Go back and revisit all the places we fell in love with. What do you say? I love that proposal. Good. Almost as much as the one that got me this. <laughs> I am famished. How about you, should you go out for dinner? Do you want to go out to dinner? Oh, I mean, maybe you're too busy. We can bring something in. Hush. I would love to go to dinner with you. You would, really? Mm-hmm, really. You're not too busy? A man can't live on love alone. No? No. Want to try, though? <laughs> what do you say? You should go get dressed while you still can. <laughs> maybe I will, and maybe yeah, I won't. Enough, you? No, I'm not sure I want dinner anymore. I love JR. I, I hate him. I only slept with him because he he manipulated me. God, and I fell for it. Oh, I think you're being a little hard on yourself. Are you joking? Amanda, I have proven everybody right. That I am nothing more than a lying, cheating whore. Not everyone thinks that. Name one person. Me. I have been where you are. And not long ago, I was pretty much every single word that you just said. And I didn't know what I wanted. I didn't know who I wanted. I, I know who I want. I want Scott. I want the life that we had. All I'm saying is I made a lot of mistakes with guys. And when, when I got pregnant with Trevor, I had three potential fathers. I mean, trust me, I know what it feels like to feel less than. I know, but it's different. You learn from your mistakes. You're married now, and you're and you're and you're faithful. What is wrong with me that I can't do that? So, before this thing with Jr., were you happy with me? It's gonna sound sick, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I really was. I had everything I wanted. I had a, a happy, a safe home. I had a, a man who adored me. Uh, I guess, I, you know, since I was younger, I always wanted to prove that I was worthy, you know, to, to my parents or to my, my brother or to other men. But Scott, I didn't need to prove that I was worthy. He just got it. He 
just, he just got me, and now I lost him. Annie. No, it's true. It's true, Amanda. No one is ever going to love me the way that he loved me. Okay, that is not true. Because you have Emma, and she loves you. Yeah. You're her hero. That's forever. Sure, until she realizes what a disaster you. No, stop it. I, I have seen the way that she looks at you. And in Emma's eyes, you are perfect. When she was born, I remember thinking, this is it. You know, Annie, this is the time to really get your life together. Because I wanted to be the mom to her that I never had. I wanted her to love me, and I wanted to love her unconditionally. And I... I wanted to be a mom that Emma could really, really be proud of. You can still be that person. How? I keep making promises that I can't keep. I keep telling her this is for real this time, sweetheart. Um, I'll make it work this time, honey, I promise. I, I can't make it work. I really can't. <laughs> Your ego is something else. Yeah, well, you call it ego. I call it reality. I guess I missed the memo declaring you the chosen one. Not the chosen one, the only one. Chandler is my birthright. Your own father didn't see it that way. Yeah, my father was angry because his wife wanted me and not him. Oh, does that sound familiar? Go to hell. My father used you to get back at me. He actually believed you could take his place. Mm. There's no way you could ever fill Adam's shoes. Unlike you, filling Adam Chandler's shoes isn't my lifelong destiny. I'm my own man. Yeah. Look where that got you. I guess we can't all be as happy as you, Jr. On the brink of a nasty custody battle, another failed marriage. That has nothing to do with that this. That has everything to do with this. Because for you, it's all the same. The company, your son, Annie, these are all things to be acquired. And I can have all three of them. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So why don't you go back to doing what you're good at, being Stuart's son. The nice guy with all the nice shiny goals. I'm here to see Scott. Is he home? You don't get to tell me who I am, JR. You don't get to tell me where I belong. I may not have been born into this family, but on my worst day, I'm more of a Chandler than you. Care to put your DNA up to the test? Look around you, JR. We're not in the schoolyard anymore. You can't taunt me and break me down like you did, Annie. Well, I didn't break Annie. Can break you. Yeah. You do your worst. You do your worst. This family needs me. This company needs me. I'm not going anywhere. Since when? Since I saved its ass. And yours. And Colby's. And AJ's. Father put me in charge of this company oh. to protect it from you, and that's exactly what I did. Really? Yeah. You're being serious right now. You really believe. You protected this place. What would you call it? This company is doing better than it has in years. I brought Chandler back from the brink. I call it putting the entire Chandler Empire at risk by stealing it from a dead man.